children from all places with all kinds of faces together into a sailing ship there were 40 boys and girls they would sail their ship around the globe so they called it the united world the ship was just three weeks from shore when a hurricane bore it down the waves were big as mountains they felt they would surely drown they jumped into the lifeboats rowed away from the wreck they didn't count them they hadn't time five children were left behind the children fought the storm all night then finally fell asleep they didn't realize the ship had been blown across the reef into the lost island. But hiding in the bushes was a watchful pair of eyes. And living in the valley were people lost in time, ruled over by a tyrant whose face was in a mask. The children must defeat him so they can escape at last from the lost island. The Lost Islands David! David! Yeah? Come quickly, someone is trying to contact us on the walkie-talkie. Oh, it'll be Jason. Okay, I'm coming. There you go. I was pressing it up instead of down. Come in, Jason. David, can you bring Tony and Mark and come to our usual meeting place above the village? It is a matter of life and death. Why? What's up? They've arrested my family. The Prime Minister holds them in the jailhouse. Hurry, David, for I know not what to do. Come quickly. Jason. Jason. I'll get Tony and Mark. But why? What happened? I heard it all from Jeremiah. Aaron befriended the young son of one of the guards. Trusting him, he told him of all of you and how you be our friends and have been so these many months. The boy told his father, who told the Prime Minister. And now they take my family prisoner to be brought before the queue and judged. I can't prove a thing. It matters not. What will they do to them? I cannot bear to think of it. We've got to do something. I beg. More than I've ever begged before in my whole life. I, I beg that you give more thought to the matter, Prime Minister. How, how can you act upon the tale of a boy? Worthy sentiments, Jeremiah Quizzle. But take care that ye yourself do not become implicated in this affair. The, the, the Quinn family be my good friends. Aye. And that fact alone be sufficient cause for me now to look at ye with grave suspicion. Be warned, Jeremiah Quizzle, that by flying so near the flame. Ye do not singe ye wings. Very well, my lord. But I just cannot believe that my master, the Q, will, will judge a good woman like the widow Quinn and her two innocent children upon the, the word of a small boy. It would be the very gravest injustice, and he would not do it. Prime Minister! Hmm. Hmm. Get out, Quizzle! Hugh has ordered ye brought before him. They are to be placed on trial this very day. Not so rough, Mr. Quell. No, Jason. No. I 
don't know what we can do. Well, let's not cross our bridges. Q might set them free. Stop, Quizzle. Hi, but I... I didn't pass. <laughs> Widow Quinn, ye have heard the accusations brought against ye. What say ye to them? I implore ye, my Lord Q, be merciful. Let my children return home. They be guilty of nothing. Ye have heard the evidence of the boy, son of the guard Martin Quiddity. I believe thy son, Aaron Quinn, told him of these things. Therefore, you are all three of ye guilty as charged. Ye are permitted to speak in your own defence, Widow Quinn, and in the defence of your children. They're babies still. Set them free. I'll take any blame there be. Ye know the law, my law. It will be carried out. And ye have chosen not to answer the charges of treason and conspiracy against ye. Therefore, ye leave me no choice but to ask our master, the great and mighty Q, to pass sentence. In this matter, Rufus Quad, I leave it to thee to pass sentence upon the prisoner. I know I may depend upon thee to be just. Elizabeth Quinn, Helen Margaret Quinn, Aaron James Quinn. Ye have heard the charges, and ye have failed to convince this court of your innocence in matters pertaining to those charges. Therefore, it falls to me to pass it this upon ye. Will they really do it, Jeremiah? Aye. Rufus Quad will murder even women and children. We could go into the village and give ourselves up. There'd be only one answer. The people. Aroused they already are. All they need is to be led. A revolution. Aye. That's the answer. It's the history of civilization. Dictators don't stand a chance when the people unite against them. Unity is strength! Right! But can we do it? Of course we can! Even some of the guards have come across to our side. Some be good men. They hate the Q and the Prime Minister. Oh, oh wait, wait. It's a good idea. Okay, one for all, and all for one. Terrific! <laughs> we can outnumber them many times over. A revolution at last! <laughs> okay, but how do we do it? There. There be the answer. Down there. I don't like it. None of it. I draw the line at killing women and children. Well, scaring them, maybe. But not murder. Not our own people. Oh, well, why don't they speak up and tell us what we need to know? Well, all we're after is the hiding place of the five fugitive brats. The widow Quinny, the type to rat and her friends. Not even to save the lives of her own children. It's too quiet altogether. Not a living soul abroad. It ain't natural in the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. 